What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're gonna to be revisiting the iPhone 5S running iOS 11 public beta one after about a week, a little bit more than a week. I wanted to make this video because my last video on the 5S was a negative one and I told you guys not to update to iOS 11 because of how buggy it was and everything like that. And that was the first beta of iOS 11, not the first public beta. But now of course, after over a week of using the 5S on the public beta of iOS 11, AKA the second developer beta, my opinions have obviously changed. So I wanted to make a follow up video since people are still getting upset over the last video and I wanted to make an update video just to let you guys know that things did get better and talk about what got better and things like that. So let's go and get right into it. Now before we get started, I do want to just say if you're interested in seeing over 85 new features in iOS 11, make sure you check the cards and description. I will have videos showing you all those features in those videos. All right, so as I already said, I have been using the 5S here on iOS 11 public beta for over a week now and I can definitely tell you it feels like a brand new device. Now it's not perfect. I still think it's not as stable as iOS 10.3.3. However, it's definitely a lot more stable than the first developer beta of iOS 11, which is the last time I reviewed and talked about the iPhone 5S. Now, of course, I didn't have the boot loop issue like I did with beta one, but if we go ahead into the settings here, you're gonna notice that we didn't get any storage back from beta one up to the public beta, at least nothing noticeable. And as you can see here, the build number for the public beta of iOS 11 is 15A5304J. Now, of course, the iPhone 5S is the lowest compatible device with iOS 11, so it's gonna be slower in a lot of things. But with the first beta, YouTube was one of the most notable applications that was extremely slow and buggy on the 5S in iOS 11 beta one. But in the public beta, it's now been fixed. You can see we have the search bar there now. We don't have that bug going on for any device, but it's just a lot more fluid and not as buggy on the 5S as it was in beta one. So that's great news because I know pretty much most of you guys do use the YouTube application on a regular or semi-regular basis. Now, as far as battery life goes, battery life is exactly the same as beta one. I haven't noticed any difference. However, I will say that when there's less bugginess and less glitching and reboots overall, the battery is gonna be better. So if it's gonna be better, it's because of that. However, I will say that I do think it's about the same as iOS 10.3.3, but of course I haven't done any testing on that just yet. Yet. But as you can see, when we go ahead and swipe up on the control center there, it's very fluid, no lag at all. And then one of the big complaints also in beta one is when you click on an application, it wouldn't launch for a few seconds. You can see there, it got a little bit better. It's still not perfect. You still see some lag there but it definitely is better than beta one because also in beta one, sometimes when you just keep going into applications like this, you just keep going into them, it would crash and randomly respring. I had that happen multiple times on beta one, but I have not had that once here on the public beta. Now, of course, if we go to the control center, you can see now we have the option for customized controls. And then if we go ahead and put in do not disturb while driving, which I have used and I can say is amazing. And then also screen recording right there. And if we go ahead and swipe up, you can see we have the screen recording right there. Screen recording has gone great. I have not had any issues whatsoever with screen recording in iOS 11 on this 5S or the 7. And then the new screenshot feature there is also really nice. I use this quite a bit. If you haven't seen all the new features in iOS 11, this is just a little sneak peek at a couple of the new features. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video discussing how my experience has been with the 5S over the past week and a half. I know I gave it bad press in my last video, so I needed to make this follow up just to keep you guys from getting too mad at me and saying that it's been fixed now and it's a lot better now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, especially 5S users. I would definitely recommend probably still holding off on installing this on a daily driver because it's not perfect, uh, but I definitely think it's a lot better than beta one. And if you do install it on your daily driver, I don't think it's gonna be a big issue regardless of what anybody says. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you soon.